Hello. Today I'm going to be today I'm going to be talking to you about making Friend Smash Unity work with the Facebook Unity SDK. And I'm going to talk a little, and first I'm going to show you Friend Smash itself, the the game we're going to be integrating the SDK with, and then I'm going to show you how to get that game so that you can try to build it yourself, and then I'll show you the steps for building for iOS, and finally I'll demonstrate that game on the iPad simulator so that you can see what it looks like end to end. So first up we got here, this is what Friends Mesh looks like. I'm, I'm running this on uh, from Facebook Canvas in full screen mode. Just wanted to show it off a little bit. You can see it's got some social components here, sort of a tournament, some scores. It's got some personalization. It's got my name, Aaron. Hi, my profile picture. And it's got some buttons, full screen, challenge, and play. Now, full screen doesn't apply to mobile, obviously, but there you go. And here's what the play button does. You click on it, it says Smash Ross. So you look for his face to go by, and nope, 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 nope. Oh, there it goes. There's another Ross. Another one. And there you go. Oh, clicked on Sad Keanu. And there you go, three points. So that's all there is to it. Friend Smash, just kind of a Fruit Ninja style clicker game with a little bit of reflexes. But you can see it's got some social components. And uh, I'm going to dive into now just how to get the code. So if you want to get the code for Friend Smash Unity, it's really easy to find. We've got it up on GitHub. So you can just Google uh, Friend Smash Unity. And your results, here we go. FB samples, Friend Smash Unity, GitHub. And then if you want, just take this URL, copy it, go to terminal, git clone, take that. <coughs> Excuse me. And here you can see it's downloading and done. So next I'll pop this open in the familiar Unity editor. And we'll cover, there we go, project's all fired up. And here you can see we've got the scripts, we've got the, uh, the assets you want, and you've got a little error down here at the bottom, fbutil.cs, fb does not exist in the current context. Well, it doesn't exist because we haven't imported the Facebook SDK yet. So if you pre-download the SDK, you can say import package, custom package, and then uh, grab the Facebook SDK.unity package, click open, and now you're going to see these are all the files you get when you import the SDK. That includes the iOS, Android, and Canvas aspects of the SDK, so it's all bundled up, and after you do that, you're ready to go with the next step of building the Facebook SDK for Unity, which is you got to tell us about your game. So what I'm going to do now is hop over here, pop open a new tab, and we'll go to developers.facebook.com. And once you get to developers.facebook.com, click on apps. Great new app. So we're going to call our, our, our app uh, Friend Smash iOS, uh, let's say Friend Smash Unity iOS. <clears throat> and you can see here the app namespace. Um, I'm not going to build one for Canvas, but if you have an app namespace that lets your game run on Facebook Canvas, that's the within the browser within Facebook.com on desktop. Uh, let's pick games. And I think. I think Friend Smash is, uh, let's call it, let's call it an adventure game, just for fun. So you click continue, you get a little capture here. And you click continue. And if you got it right, here at the top of the screen, you got the important information. Friend Smash, Unity iOS, and the app ID. So once you have the app ID, Head back over here to Unity, and up in the top here, uh, notice sometimes it doesn't show up, but if you click on File, you'll see suddenly a Facebook menu item appears. So this is a known bug with Unity. Hopefully it'll be fixed by the time you see this. And you click Edit Settings, and over here you're going to see uh, App Name and App ID. So here we'll just paste the App ID over here. Now you have the App ID. The App Name here, purely for your, for your benefit. If you want to run the same code against multiple apps, say a test app and a live app, you can add another app ID and you can name these whatever you want. Friend, smash, unity, 
iOS debug. There you go. Doesn't mean anything except for you. So now that you've done that, the next thing we do is we go up to File, Build Settings, make sure you're on iOS, say Player Settings, and the other thing we need is the bundle identifier. So you can see here it's pre filled out because it's part of the project, com.facebook.friendsmash. Uh, just to be pedantic, I'm going to say com.facebook.friendsmash unity iOS. And I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to copy it. Now we go back over to the developer site. And when you come down here, you've got a few different selections here. The one you want is native iOS app. And then we put the bundle ID in here. There you go, com.facebook.friendsmashunity.ios. The App Store ID and the iPhone App Store ID and iPad App Store ID, these are important. You should put those in. I'm not going to because I'm not going to submit this to the App Store. <clears throat> but if somebody sees something about your game on Facebook on their, their iPhone and you have the App Store ID here and they don't have your game installed, we'll use the ID to take them to the App Store so that they can go and install the game and, uh, and just get your game a little more easily and a little more quickly. Uh, make sure you cl click uh, Facebook and Login Enabled and then click Save Changes. And there you go. You can notice up here a little warning about not uh, giving the App Store ID, but that's okay. As we talked about before, it doesn't matter for this case. And now we come on back to, to Unity and uh, let's just say Build and Run. iOS is what I'll call the folder where we build this, where we build this. Now we're building. And uh, clean succeeded. And build succeeded. And here we go. Firing it up on the iPad simulator. And now you can see the very basics. Now real quick before I actually run the simulator I want to hop back to Unity and just show you the code we're going to be running. So down here under Assets and Scripts we click on MainMenu.cs and that's going to fire up our good friend MonoDevelop and you can see it and mainmenu.cs. So there's really just four functions you need to remember when you use the Facebook SDK. The first one, fb.init, really simple, really straightforward, just, just sets things up, not too much to do besides that. Um, the first important function you're gonna to wanna to talk about is fb.login. So fb.login is the function call that'll pop up a dialog for the user to agree to the things that you want to be able to do with their information on Facebook, and that includes uh, getting their email address in this case, and publish actions just means writing stuff to their, their timeline, and, uh, and, and a few other things related to that. And there's a login callback here, which is useful, so you can get notified when that happens. So until you call fb.login, you can't do anything else. You can't do API calls or friend requests or things like that. Uh, but uh, but fb.login is what you're gonna wanna do before you call anything else. And uh, next up, we're gonna go down to fb.feed. So fb.feed, this, this is the one-to-many channel on Facebook. What you're going to do here with this is you, you, you call this when you want people playing your games to put stuff on their timeline and post a feed and what will happen is people who see these stories can like on them and they can comment on them and, uh, and maybe they'll, they'll see it and then they'll get interested and they'll play your game. And that's, that's sort of what this is about, feed. It's a one-to-many. Um, 
The final function I'll talk about is the fb.app request call. Uh, the most basic form is this one down here where you just kind of pass a message and a title. And what this does is it just it pops up a dialog and lets people playing your game select the friends they want to they want to send the game to. So if, if uh, you're playing uh, playing a game and you go, "Hey man, I got like three or four friends I want to send it to." Uh, pop this up and the people playing your game can uh, can pick the people they want to send it to. Uh, the other form this function takes is the fb.app request if you specify the to parameter, so to recipient, and that just says send this person a request directly. All right, so here we see friend smash in the iOS simulator, and first thing I'm going to do is log in. So you click the login button, and you're going to see, uh, in this case, the simulator does not have the Facebook app installed, so you're going to get the browser version, but it says friend smash Unity iOS would like to access your public profile and friend list. So this go, this ties in with the permissions we saw earlier, you know, getting your friends list. And uh, we click OK, and here we are, logged into Facebook. And you can see here we got a little socialization, welcome Aaron, profile picture, and a little leaderboard, and uh, the challenge button. So here we go, this is the, the this is this corresponds to the fb.app request to many options. So this is where I can select people to send it to, and uh, you know, I think we'll send Marco a request. Hey Marco. And uh, then you click send. And uh, then I can play the game. And there you go. I got a score of one. Not the not the best score in the world, but you know, not terrible, not terrible. And uh, now you can see that now that I have a score, uh, friends match lets the person brag about it. So this is the fb.feed button, uh, fb.feed call uh, when you click on this button. And you can see here we're popping up the, the dialog here. It says, you know, check my friends match greatness. So I'm just going to say, this game is amazing. Friend smash. So you click share. And then again, you know, challenge. In this case, now that I've played somebody, the, the behavior is a little bit different. This is the sending it directly to Fran. So because Fran was the one that I smashed, we said, uh, yeah, send Fran a direct request. Say, uh, I want to bug you. You know, I want to I wanna see if you can smash me in Fran smash. And uh, click send. And there we go. That's it. So that's Fran smash Unity and running on the iPad. And this has been a complete end to end on how to build your game for the Facebook Unity SDK. Uh, what have we demonstrated so far? We've shown you uh, just what Friend Smash is, a you know, simple social app that has a few key social components. Uh, we've shown you how to download Friend Smash, get the SDK into it, get your game set up on the Facebook developer site, uh, and then finally we've shown you how to build it for the iOS simulator and uh, and test it out. So there you go. That's that's the end to end for the for building for iOS for the Facebook uh, Unity SDK. I hope this has been a valuable video for you and uh, thank you very much for your time.